Desiree Chisholm, Ella Flagger, Willie Christmas, Smith, Fiza, Shaw, Tanya Tucker, Corby Lewis, Robin Stewart, Matthew Dennis, how are you? Nell Willis, Cassandra Gilchrist, how are you? Sharon Grant, Maria Hernandez, Sharon Powell, Kaifa Costin Andrews, Carla Hitt, Anthony McFall, Carla Henry, straight out of Irvington. I was just on the, the live with your man. I couldn't see technical difficulties there. Stacey Perry, Nicole Brown, Lottie Smalls, Colin Johnson, Maisha Williams, Sharon Fleming. I'll need some big top. Ray Heyman, Donna Charles, Gwen Smith Stokes, Deborah Bailey Johnson, Lori Jackson Betts. Happy Thursday, Sharon Stafford Williams, Brittany Yvette Brown, Cinnamon Bonds, Wanda Barty, Ida B. Williams, Jewel Daniels, Natasha Allen, Newell Strong, Sweetie Benoit, Jacqueline Hall, Tamisha Campbell King. They was good. They was good. Yes, yes. Allison James Frierson, Carter Slane, Tamana Johnson, Vanessa Talifero, Linda Barnes, Freeman Norman. How are you? Stephanie Brown, Thomas, Thomasina Punchy Dunn, McDonald, Therese Purefoy, how's everything? Noah Strong, Jacques Perez. Hey, that's right. I need you up at the at the Salon Ice Cream Parlor having some vegan ice cream. Latifah Williams, Rosalind Davis, Athena Night Now, Kathy Peschel, Erica Martin. Okay. Good. Sharon Williams, Mary Moody's Harry. I'm glad they was out there, Erica and Sly talking to those guys. Jeanette Hennett, how are you? Rose Phoebus, Henrietta Harris, be of good courage and let us behave ourselves valiantly for our people and for the cities of our God, right? And let the Lord, wait a minute, I missed that one, bring it back, and let the Lord do that which is good in his sight. Thank you for that, Henrietta. Gina Riddles Muhammad, Zan Williams, Kadira Green, single, little Marengue today for y'all. Louis Scott Roundtree, Robin Cornegay, T. Griffin. Nikki Barnes, Mask Up, Takanisha Rell, Coretta Curtis, Karen Davis, Peace of Love, Felicia Austin Singleton, Edwin Cabin, Rell KR, Kelly Sutton, Marshall Tanya Hicks, Manuel Guzman, let's go, Miss Ali, Deborah Bailey Johnson. Yes, it is. I have to concur with that on a serious side. Sharon Wells, Central War Community, Peace of Love, Tiffany Williams, Angela Cottle, Esther Chambly, Monique Love. Uh, yes, they do, and we do. Denise Hurd, out in Paul. We turn calls back all the time, sister. R Ruth Dennis Ellis, April Anderson Brown, Hygiene Duncan Smith, Denise Bintu Fanfana, Moose Moose Bailey. A little merengue for y'all today. That's all that was. Letitia Small. Fill out your senses. Tiffany Reed, Linnell Duncan, Lori Jackson. How are you? Sharon McCole, Ms. Coco Patterson. Carol Green. Soul Santana. Good afternoon. Mi amiga. Buenas tardes. Hakima Ross. Shalisa Fuller. Bongo Dion Nanda. Bongo Dion Nanda. I can't, I can't pronounce it. I, I, I apologize. The Havelin Kitchen. Dasha Thompson. Phyllis Shelton, Overy, Betty Jenkins, Latanya Green, Chad, May Newsom, Latifah Williams, Peace, thank you. Teresa Osborne Coleman, Tanya Smith, Monroe John Monroe Johnson, Tull Twin Brooks, Abu Bako Koyate. How are you, my brother? Gwendolyn Small. How are you? I'm missing my peoples. I don't know where she at today. She's not up here. Jack Okiki, Tanya Bowers, Kenya Odetta Trader. How you doing, Miss Travelet? Evan Butler, Joyce Daly Hargrove, Sally Mendelson, Monica Johnson. Good news. Praying for some good news. Rashid White, Monique Love, Ray Parker, Yo-Yo, the party pro. 
in the building. Ray Parker, Sharon Martins, Mona Ross. Let's get to these numbers. Uh, 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 Jacqueline, Kelsey, Obi. Momo said so. There she go. <laughs> That's what's up. Let's, uh, now, now we can start. So I, I just want to talk a little bit about this. I'm going, this is my last day talking about this election. And uh, actually, I got I have to show you something that uh, uh, Milky Nikki, if I still have it, I hope I didn't, oh my God, uh, sent me just about all of the, and I know she up here, sent it to me again so I can read it. If it's not today, I'll read it tomorrow about, um, you know, all of the, the people who did not vote in particular states that Trump won uh, in and all spe specifically black and brown people. And and, and I would like to uh, say to what those numbers are. So send it to me again, uh, Miss Gibson, if, if you have it. And, um, you know, I've just been arguing and listening and reading and, and, and hearing all of the, the, the negative talk about Kamala Harris. It's really, really bad. So it's the conservative right and it's us. Like, it's so, it's so sad how uh, ugly we can be to each other, man. And somebody uh, wrote me, I thought, a real thoughtful uh, kind of response on Instagram. I didn't respond to it. I was about to, but it was really thoughtful. Uh, and they said we have to stop teaching our people really to settle and all this other kind of stuff. And, you know, you know, I, I respect my mother, not just because she's my mother. I respect her because of her experience and struggle, uh, the information she knows. She's she's smarter and more brilliant than I am, particularly around these issues. Uh, she's been engaged in struggle and marches and protests probably more than half of her life uh, and paid a dear price for it. She uh, has read probably more books on 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 struggle, on revolution, on, on on civil rights than I have, has actually visited countries and talked to leaders and all kinds of things that I, that I have not done. And her perspective on this is a lot clearer than many people. We are so clouded uh, uh, by our anger that we don't see the bigger picture. We so uh, you know, so muffled by and, 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 and muddied, I should say, by ideology, it becomes so inflexible uh, that it does not grow. We can't sharpen it. And that's why we can't organize uh, the way we need to. Uh, because what we don't understand is that we're, we're in a warlike situation. And in wars, you advance and you retreat. The same way with, COVID, with the COVID virus. We advance when we wear the mask and do the things we're supposed to do, the numbers go down. We retreat. We go back in. When the numbers start going back up, we retreat. So it's advance and retreat, advance and retreat until we win. Advance and retreat until we win. That's how you fight. That's how we fight the COVID. That's how we're going to win COVID. We advance uh, when, I, when we do good. Our, our numbers go down. We're advancing. We're retreating when the numbers go high. Uh, and this kind of long forward struggle that we've been in with this place, we advance and we retreat. There's time to advance and it's time to retreat. I think the 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 putting Kamala Harris on a on a major ticket right now in the United States when Black Lives Matter is being fought and all of the African Americans and and and, and our allies and Latinos and everybody else have been struggling and fighting and people of color, women of color specifically. Uh, I think that this is a moment of advance that we get to advance. Doesn't mean we won, that it's over, that we stop fighting, that it's a hallelujah party. It means that this is a step forward, that we've advanced. It's not a retreat. And whatever you think of the way she thinks or feels or what you believe, I believe her idea of America is better than what we presently are dealing with, right? And if it's better than what we're presently dealing with, then it's an advance for me, right? It is also advance for women of color who have been at the forefront of these battles since the beginning of battles, right? Who have fought hard uh, to make sure that anybody but Trump was there, right? This is an opportunity for reciprocity in that. We should at least put all of that aside and support this effort to oust this man, to oust him. And, and, and it makes me feel better about it because Kamala Harris is on the ticket, right? Is on the ticket. Are there things, I reported said, what about her past record? There's things that I might have done, right? Things that, you, uh, 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 decisions that I made that 
many of you might disagree with. There's decisions that she made that I'm that I disagree with, right? Things that she's done that I'm that I disagree with. But I don't, I can't think of any really elected official, or politician, or individual who have not done things that I have not agreed with. Like completely, there is nobody probably uh, that have not done something that I do not agree with, that I have contention with, that we can argue about, that we can fuss over, right? But we can't be that unsophisticated that we cannot see that this moment we need to seize it and take advantage of it and not let something, right, that we disagree upon stop us from advancing. We have to advance, not retreat. This is not a moment of retreat. It's a moment of advance. And the logic behind some of you is you believe that the worse the conditions are, the more people will fight. And that's just not scientifically true. The more you beat people, the more demoralized they become the more hurt they are, uh, uh, the more they retreat, right? People fight back when they're given hope, when they think there's a way out, there's an opportunity that they can win, that they can see victory, that, that, that there's light at the end of the tunnel. They struggle harder, they fight harder. When people see the finish line, they get at it. They get at it. They don't, they don't give up when they see the finish line. Usually people tend to give up when they think there is no way to win, right? And so this, this gives hope to so many women of color, right? And, and I keep saying women of color because this is not just about our fight as people of color, as oppressed people. It's not, it's not our fight. This is specifically a win for women of color. And, and I want to stand on that side of history and make sure I support that because it's the right thing to do at this moment. And people can say, oh, so there was another black woman who ran for president. Never have a major party Never have a major party supported a woman of color for the vice presidential nomination of the United States of America. We have a long way to go, but I'm glad uh, that in this time, in this moment, because of the, the fight, not the goodwill of Joe Biden, but the fight that people put up in this country made it necessary for him to pick Kamala Harris. I would have been happy if he would picked any one of them, by the way. So let me just say that. I'd have been happy with any one of those ladies that he picked. So I'm happy. Here are our numbers today. We have 22 more positive cases today than yesterday. 22. Yesterday we was at 20. Uh, that 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 20 number. 22 more positive cases than yesterday, bringing our total to 505 since June 30th. No new deaths again today. No new deaths. Uh, we had a total of 30 since June 30th. 30 deaths since June 30th. And 22 more positive cases today than yesterday, which brings us to 505 since June 30th. New Jersey has a total of 186,594 positive cases. 186,594 positive cases, which is 656 more than yesterday. 656 more than yesterday. They have a total of 14,054 deaths. 14,054 deaths, which is eight more than yesterday. New Jersey, the entire state, have eight more deaths than yesterday, but 656 more positive cases. That's a larger number than they than we than, than, than well, it's larger than we used to have, but it, it is trending now. Um, we have to get that number down in New Jersey and Newark. Uh, you know, we're at 22. We want to also bring our number down uh, as well. In case you missed it, uh, we put out a hotline yesterday to report large crowds, no matter the location within the city. Report large gatherings with people not wearing masks, not practicing social distancing. They're just doing what they want to do. You can call 973-969-1122. The hotline is manned all day and night uh, by the police. Remind, re remember, by the police. Uh, you can continue to report other kind of nuisances at the 973-733-6009 emergency number, loud music, stuff like that. This number is specifically for large gatherings. Large gatherings. Large gatherings on blocks, in, in homes, in backyards parties, restaurants, large gatherings where there are no masks and, no, and they're not practicing social distancing, 973-969-1122, 973-969-1122. And we need you to put, put the word out there, all you leaders in the community, we need you to spread the word, put it to your network, let them know what the number is so we can get out. The police have already broken up a couple of uh, uh, events and gatherings, talking to people, getting them to separate 
Tell them to wear masks. They're not coming out there to lock people up. They're coming out there to disperse them, to talk to them, to give out masks, to tell them that they have to separate. Uh, that's what we're doing. That's the hotline number. Use that. Uh, any other non-emergency, you call 973-733-6000. If it's an emergency, obviously you have to call 911. If it's an emergency, you call 911. The hotline is manned all day and night. Call and, and uh, uh, see if we come out and respond uh, uh, to that. If the outcomes from the hotline and sit still Sundays do not work, uh, we may have to draw up a curfew uh, in order to get our numbers back down uh, in the city. Right now, we're counting on this hotline that we're giving you guys and sit still Sunday, which is one more Sunday. We have one more Sunday to do that before we make an assessment. One more Sunday. We'll look at the numbers tomorrow, the zip codes, the, the compare our numbers to the state, all of those things uh, uh, to give you an idea where we are. But um, next Sunday, we'll make a determination if we have to continue with the sit still Sundays. Uh, but please keep calling the hotline about large crowds. We'll keep breaking them up and, and separating them uh, as much as we need to in order to keep our numbers down. We're going to continue to do that uh, over and over and over and, and over again. Um, tomorrow for our pop-up testing and census, uh, we'll be at Oliver Street School on East Kenny Street. I told you that, Oliver Street School tomorrow. Uh, also tomorrow we'll be at Mount Calvary Baptist Church, Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church on Seymour Avenue, Seymour and Hawthorne, Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church. We'll be there from 12 to 7. The Oliver Street School is from 3.30 to 8. Uh, Mount, Calvary, Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church is from 12 to 7, right? We'll also be at the church, Mount Calvary, not just tomorrow, we'll also be there Saturday. We'll also be there Saturday. And on Saturday, uh, they'll be open from 10 to 5, 10 to 5. Now, all the Adopt the Block pop-up sites uh, are all day. These are with the police, fire, OEM. We're also going to be testing. We're also going to be doing census. We're going to be doing a myriad of things uh, there. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be in the first precinct, which is south on South 9th Street. We'll be there tomorrow between 11 and 12th Avenue. Tomorrow, South 9th Street between 11 and 12th. On Monday... Uh, we'll be at the Summer Ave between Elwood and Heller Parkway. Summer Ave between Elwood uh, and Heller Parkway on Monday. On Tuesday, we'll be on Orchard Street. That's the 18th. We'll be on Orchard Street between Tichenor and Pennington. Between Tichenor and Pennington on Orchard Street. On Wednesday, the 19th, we'll be on 15th Avenue and South 18th Street. On Thursday, on the 20th, we'll be on Chadwick. We'll be on Chadwick on Thursday the 20th, Chadwick Avenue. Friday uh, the 21st, we'll be on Smith Street between South Orange and Rockland on Smith Street, Friday the 21st, and Monday the 24th, we'll be at North 5th Street in the 7th Precinct, North 5th Street in the 7th Precinct. And that takes us all the way through August, and we'll start again, start up again in September. Uh, uh, the census train will be out Saturday. Uh, obviously, reservoir site, townhomes, first stop, uh, reservoir at 315. After that, we'll be at Grace West Manor at 350, Grace West Manor at 350. And the last stop on the census train is Villa Victoria, 430 to 5, Villa Victoria Townhomes. We need you to fill out the census, man. People are coming. They're knocking on doors. We need you to open up the doors for the census folks, right? If, if you don't want to open the door, you don't want to deal with those people, you have to fill out the census yourself. And that, you have to go to www.2020census.gov. But we need you to open those doors. Uh, or you can call in English, 844-330-2020, 844-330-2020. In Spanish, 844-468-2020. In Espanol, 844-468-2020. In Portuguese, 844-474-2020, 844-474-2020. And for Haitian Creole, uh, 844-477-2020. Four seven seven twenty twenty eight four 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 seven seven twenty twenty. We need you to fill the census out, and we need you to answer the phone for the contact tracers. Answer the phone. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's not invasion of the body snatchers. Answer the phone. We need to warn the people that you have been around if you tested positive that, in fact, they should go get tested or quarantine themselves. So we can stop them from spreading the virus to someone else. It's important just for community 
uh, control of this virus to do that. We have to control uh, this virus, right? And you do that by the contact tracers, giving them the information, and they call people that you've been in contact with, and they tell them that you should uh, uh, quarantine yourself, go get tested in, uh, uh, in the process, right? Please. Uh, this Saturday, August 15th, is a Central War pickup. Uh, since you were a cleanup, excuse me, you can pick up your supplies at the Congregational Baptist Church at 8.30 a.m. all the way to 4 p.m. on Bergen Street, Congregational Baptist Church. Here are the dumpster locations. Number one, 6th Street between 14th and 15th Avenue. Webster Street between 7th Avenue and Crane. 6th Street between 6th and 7th Avenue. Clark Street between Broadway and Mount Pleasant. Washington Street and West Kinney. Washington Street and West Kinney. Springfield Avenue between 18th Ave and 10th Street. Springfield Avenue between 18th Avenue and 10th Street. Cutler Street and Park Ave. Cutler and Park Ave. Crittenden Street and Rowland Street. Crittenden and Rowland. Dorea Street between Orange and Sussex. Dorea between Orange and Sussex. And the last street is Hecker Street. Hecker, H E C. K-E-R, Hecker Street between Orange Street and Dorea. Hecker between Orange and Dorea. That's where all of the dumpsters will be. You can take your garbage to those dumpsters. Uh, we'll be cleaning up uh, in those areas, and prayerfully, our DPW will be cleaning up the main corridors while you do that. The next one is August 22nd in the North Ward. is a community cleanup August 22nd uh, in <clears throat> the North Ward. Let me go over these numbers again for the people who just got on. We have 22 more positive cases today than yesterday. 22 more positive cases today than yesterday, uh, uh, which gives us a total of 505. We have no new deaths today. No new deaths today. Uh, it keeps us at a total of 30. And these are the numbers since June 30th. Not the numbers since March 14th, but the number since June 30th. Don't get confused. Uh, new Jersey has a total of 186,594 positive cases which is 656 more cases than yesterday. We have a total of 14,054 deaths, which is a total of eight more deaths than yesterday. Eight more deaths than yesterday. Tomorrow, here's what you should be looking for. I'm going to give the state uh, uh, average of, of infection, positive infection, uh, percentage of positive infection, excuse me, not average, the percent of positive infection. And I'm going to give the cities two numbers for the percent of positive infection. The state calculates its number by the by the, the, the amount of tests uh, uh, given, right? We we calculate, uh, uh, excuse me, we they, they count it by the number of people, we calculate it by the number of tests. So we follow you. Let me make it plain for you. We follow you, right? They follow tests, we follow you. So if you test 15 times, we're gonna count you 15 times. The state counts you once. Uh, one time you catch positive, that's it. We count you all of the times. We count you how many times you tested negative, how many times you tested positive. We count you. We continuously count you. We're following you. We're chasing uh, the pattern of the sickness in our community. We, we're counting you uh, over and over. So if you tested 20 times, we count you in that number 20 times. Uh, there's no wrong way to do it. Uh, both ways are the right way to do it. It just looks for two different things. Uh, and I'm going to give you both of those numbers uh, uh, and a comparison of both of those numbers so you'll be able to make a determination on your own uh, uh, of how good or bad that we are, in fact, doing. I'm also going to give you the zip codes uh, so you can, once again, look at how you're faring uh, in your neighborhood uh, with the zip codes, how, how you're faring uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, uh, and we need you as a leader in your community to help us with a couple of things. And I know it's leaders on here block leaders, district leaders, leaders of your home, leaders of your building, leaders in your community, leaders in your organization, leaders in your church. We need you to do a couple of things. We need you to help us get people to answer the phone. We need you to get, help us get people to answer the phone with the contact traces. We need, we need your help. We need you to help us tell people to put on their masks. We need you to help us enforce that. Put on your mask or call that hotline number so people can put their masks on and social distance, right? Three, we need you to report stores and businesses that are not doing what they're supposed to do and send us flyers and events where people are having large gatherings that they plan planning. And we need you to discourage that. 
And we need you to discourage people from doing that. If you know them, discourage you, discourage them uh, from doing that, right? We need you to fill out the census, right? Answer the door or uh, tell people to fill the census out. Those are the things we need you to do. And lastly, we need you to help encourage your neighbors, your family, and your friends. We need you in this difficult moment. And people don't understand. Uh, so they get on here. We make fun. We talk slick. We say things that we shouldn't say. We go back and forth. We argue. We like to tell our opinions on this thing and just really beat on each other. But you know, some people, we, what we're forgetting, and this is a very difficult time for a lot of people, man. People are depressed during this time. Uh, they, 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 they've been laid off from their job. Unemployment has been uh, a pain uh, uh, for them to, to get unemployment. Uh, they don't know what they're going to do in terms of their rent, right? Right now, they stay okay, but they're still stressed out because at, at some point, the moratorium is going to go away and they're going to be responsible for all these things. They're trying to figure out what to do with their kids in school, uh, their families who have to go to work and they have to make a decision about whether they send their kid to school or miss work. Uh, and, and they have to figure out how, how they navigate that thing and pray that their kid is safe uh, in the process, right? There are people whose who's relatives and family members have COVID and have underlying illnesses and are suffering and they're praying to God uh, that they do not succumb uh, to this virus, right? There, there, there is a stressful, stressful, stressful time, not just for Newarkers, for, but for, for, for all people, it's stressful. Uh, and more than anything, people need encouragement. They need inspiration. They need to be felt, made to feel happy, uh, uh, engaged, that they matter. This is the time to do that, not berate people, not belittle people, not demean people, not make fun of people, not yell and shout people down because you know how to yell and shout people down well. We do, we're, a, we're great at uh, uh, telling people what we don't like. What, we're, what we have to work on is telling people uh, uh, what they do well, what they do good. How can we help? How can I support? How to, how 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 can I find a solution? How 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 can I? If you need food, let me get you some food, right? You need this, let me let me let me help you figure this out, right? That's what we need, and we need people to be to be willing to accept that. And because we don't offer that, we we have not learned how to accept that, uh, and so we don't accept love, right? Sometimes when people show us love and kindness, we reject love and kindness because we're so used to the opposite. We're so used to people being mean uh, and demeaning. We can't even say hello to people because they frown at us. Like, I don't know you. And so we, we have to change that culture. And hopefully COVID gives us the platform, the stage to change this culture of meanness that we have growing up in these communities where it is a, where it's actually a safety uh, 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 a valve to, to, to be cold and mean to people. Like it, it is a knee-jerk reaction that we have growing up in these, in these communities to be mean and thoughtless. And we have to change that, right? We have to we have to bring that old Southern hospitality back. The 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 take care of my neighbor. If my neighbor not good, I'm not good. My neighbor's kids not good, I'm not my, my, my kids not good. We have to figure that out. And that's the only way we beat this thing. We can't beat this thing by trying to figure out how we not work together. We have to figure out what we need to do to work together and put our differences aside for a couple of months. If you want to dislike me, you got a whole bunch more years to dislike me, God willing, that he keeps me on the planet long enough that you could dislike me next year and dislike me the year after that and hate me three years from now. But this day, this moment, this time, this hour, this second, we need you and I need you and the people need you to work together collectively to show uh, immense uh, and outstanding and outrageous amounts of love and care for one another uh, in our community. Same feeling I have about the vice presidential candidate, Kamala Harris. Look, you could dislike her tomorrow, but today, on this day, on this hour, we gotta, we have to show love. Love is the most revolutionary act that you can show. Uh, you know, when people try to hurt you, demean you, make you don't matter, the best, the best fight is to live. The best thing is to live, to love, to live, and be happy. Uh, and that's, that's, that's what we have to work on. We have, to, we have to do a lot of work in that area, y'all. We need a lot of work because people spend a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of thought to make us miserable, to make us miserable. And us being happy in and of itself is resistance. Us being happy and working together is resistance in and of itself, y'all. In and of itself is resistance, right? Doesn't mean you don't disagree. Doesn't mean we don't argue back sometimes. Doesn't mean we don't check each other when we need to. But what it does mean is that our love for our community is greater than our differences we have with one another. God bless y'all.
See you tomorrow.